All right. You guys know what time it is. Let's hit the water. Going to meet up with my buddy Brandon. Let's get some smallies. Right, so we are on the water and before my buddy gets here and before we start fishing, um, while the rain did put the, the river up just a skosh um, last night, it shouldn't affect us too much. You can see the flow isn't going too fast. Now here's the science part. Um, the temperature's great. We're right at around 49, 50 degrees. The wind's not blowing too awful hard, but here's the thing. The barometric pressure right now has taken a significant drop. Okay, so what is barometric pressure? Barometric pressure is the atmospheric pressure that changes when like high pressure fronts or low pressure systems come into our areas. So the normal pressure for the Cincinnati, Ohio region is uh, uh, 30.1. Uh, uh, and that's measured in HG, which I won't go into that sciencey nerd stuff with you, but uh, right now it just dropped to 29.75. Now that is a fairly significant uh, difference in barometric pressure. Okay, so what does this have to do with fishing? Why is this important? Well, if you don't know, fish have like an air bladder uh, in them that helps them stay buoyant. Now the important thing that connects that with the barometric pressure is that air bladder it is so sensitive it can feel the atmospheric pressure change. Now this has been proven obviously with biologists that when the pressure drops in a in a system the fish are able to detect that atmospheric pressure and it kind of triggers them to feed up because they think okay the, the 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 atmospheric pressure is changing so what does that mean that a storm is coming rain might be coming they need to feed up now in order to you know survive whatever kind of floods may come or a disruption of their normal habitat so something to keep in mind i'm sorry to nerd out on all you guys but keep an eye on the atmospheric pressure there are great you know weather sites that always show the atmospheric pressure it'll say barometric pressure or pressure in hg that's what you look at look what your normal what your normal is and when you drop like 0.2 or 0.3 below that it's a good time to consider fishing let's go do it Well, I think our fishing buddy has arrived. It's up a, a skosh from a couple days ago, but it's not it's not terribly. Oh, it's gonna be higher than that no matter what time it is. I'll put, I'll be able to figure out a way around too deep. You can jump on my shoulders if you want. I thought you were gonna bring them. That's how I was like, if the air's a little chilly, I don't know. Well, I mean, but I mean if you want to I won't argue if you want to wear those shorts all day though. Huh? I said I won't argue if you keep those shorts on all day. Can you get them? Sweet. See, now this is what you have to deal with when you have buddies that are still, you know, he paid for the course. He's still learning how to fish. He, I've, I've tried to teach him. He's going back and putting his waders on. I mean, you see me. Long sleeve shirt. It's chilly out here. He showed up in friggin' Bahama shorts. What's he doing? Brandon, listen, there's no refunds on the course. You gotta, you gotta just listen to me and trust that I know what I'm talking about. Well, boys, it's, uh, just me and you on this mission. Brandon cannot locate his waders, so we are going on this solo. Let's see if we can't get on the fish. Let's go. Here's some turkeys. Okay, something to pay attention to is we get this fast moving water and then we've got a little back circulation in this little foamy area out here. I'm gonna go approach that, see if there's anything in there. 
Okay, nothing there. Let's head up to the uh, let's head up to the bridge. I tell you what, sometimes when the fishing bite is not on, the view just totally makes up for it. There we go. Oh, ho, ho. what a nice smallmouth. Wow, right in that fast current. Oh, wow. Look at him. What a chunk. What, what a nice smallmouth. Yeah, all right, we're gonna quickly get a weight on this guy. All right, nice. 1.4. Locked in. 1.4. Not bad. Pound and a half, Smalley. On the KVD. Square bill. Nicely done. Let's get him back. Okay. What a beautiful, beautiful fish. All right. Let's let you go, bud. Look at that. How beautiful a spot to catch a smallmouth. Right by the covered bridge and some fast moving water. Man, even if the fish weren't biting, I'd be happy. Well, that was certainly a surprise and an awesome one at once. Didn't think maybe this was a little bit too fast to water. So I pitched just off in the current break there. And man, he just must have been laid up waiting for something to come out of there. That's why I've been saying it's so important to pitch these, these slow waters that come off of fast moving water. That is smallmouth ambush headquarters. Man, if I haven't said it before, and I know I have, fish the slow water that is just near or just off of fast moving water. It is smallmouth territory. Man, it is the place they love to sit and ambush stuff. And you know, we were just working that KVD crankbait um, fairly, fairly quickly. I mean, I'm, you can see I'm just doing a nice, solid, steady retrieve. Getting that reaction bite, that pre-spawn reaction bite. Now we've got a, you can see there's like a little trickling, I don't know, drainage coming off of the hillside here. This would be a spot I would kind of key in on. You'll have a little bit different depth just because of erosion and probably a different uh, temperature of water so that's an area i wouldn't pass up give it a few casts to the right left and middle of it just work that zone completely wow look at this big old bird feather what's that off of All right, all my, all my bird people in the comments. What is that? You can see the size of it. It's two full hand lengths, man. That's 20 inches just about. Look at that. So in a spot like this, you got the fast moving skinny rapids here. And it's pushing all this water over to this rocky, very steep cutoff side. I'm going to try to work this entire right side bank because over here it's a very gradual slope and you can tell we've just got sand and silt over here for that side we've got a nice rocky base so and uh smallmouth love rocky bases that's what we're going to do that's what we're going to focus on see if we can drum one out of there well i thought we'd get a little bite here um let's go ahead and head up we'll be entering our last little zone here you can see that Maybe you can't in the GoPro. You definitely can't in the GoPro. But there's like an embankment wall. And uh, we'll kind of end our trip there. So hopefully in this calmer water we can get a bite. Now that we're up closer, this is what I'm talking about, guys. When you see these current breaks like this, this calmer water in between fast water, those are the areas that are worth 
really working every two, three feet and just work that entire zone, chew off a piece each time. So the way I, the way I taught my wife to fish is that kind of work in a giant pie slice. So if you're looking at a giant pie slice, you're gonna wanna work, work that zone, that zone, that zone, that zone, and so forth, and then work your way back. Really completely work a zone of fishing, and especially if you're working a reaction bait, like a crankbait, crankbaits are reaction baits. It's moving quickly, it's bouncing off rocks, so it's important to give them a few casts and kind of eat up that entire zone. Well, we are to the zone that I was hoping to work with this crankbait. It is quarter till eight o'clock. You can see we're already in really overcast conditions, so the light is gonna fade out on us real quick. However, our exit point is right at the end of this metal wall, and that's what I wanna work. I wanna get this crankbait up against that wall so it looks like maybe a minnow they would pin up against some structure. All right, well, that was a pretty fun mission. Uh, I, I thought there would be a little bit, little bit more of a bite given the uh, low pressure, uh, but the water was up a touch, so I knew that might have thrown us a, a little bit of a wrench into the plans. However, we did catch that one big girl, and that was awesome. And the scenery, you guys saw it. The scenery is absolutely gorgeous. I love this place. It's got this really old historic covered bridge, and uh, I mean, it's just a great, beautiful place to go smallmouth fishing, wading. Uh, some of these, some of these adventures that they're, they're so scenic. I, I love getting out here and just being in the water and doing a, a hike, a creek walk, even if I don't catch anything, it's that fun. But it's even funner when you catch a smallmouth. On that note, I would appreciate it if you guys would like this, throw a comment and subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell because we're doing some live streams and wait, 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 not just yet. Gotta take a few more casts off the top of this wall. I will see you guys, but not just yet. Just a couple more casts. A couple more. That's on the next. Okay, fine. Now you can go. Fishing mission.